Dark Souls series of games, and others like them, which are often referred to as Soulsborne, are seen as some of the more difficult games available on the market, and as a result, this has led to some critical acclaim and sales with the Dark Souls series of video games, achieving over 25 million lifetime sales as of June 2019. It's quite a big number for a series of games that are still often considered quite niche. The Dark Souls community is still very much active to this day across all of its entries, and while this is considered a small community in its own right, there exists an even smaller one inside of this pre-existing community, with this subset community being called the No-Hit community. The term No-Hit is a fairly recent term with it only coming into existence around 2016, it's a whole five years after the release of Dark Souls in 2011. There are a set of rules to abide by when trying to complete a no-hit run, such as blocking an enemy attack using a shield counts as a hit because the damage has been absorbed rather than dodged. Glitches and skips are typically avoided because it provides an unfair advantage and does not reflect the skill associated with no-hitting a game. This does not mean glitches and skips are easy to use, but it is seen as counterintuitive to the point of a run but these are more commonly used in speedruns of the game. Fall damage is typically allowed providing the drop does not kill the player. This is a separate category called no damage in which fall damage would negate the run so new routing will be required. Alongside the set of rules there are various types of no hit runs that can be attempted that all have different criteria attached to them such as the any percent run which involves beating the game without taking a hit, the old bosses run which entails beating all mandatory and optional bosses without taking a hit, and the old content run, which requires beating all the vanilla bosses as well as any DLC bosses. Now if there's one person who can be credited with the rise in popularity of the Dark Souls no hit runs, it would be the Twitch broadcaster The Happy Hop. Hop was the first person to complete the no hit run of Dark Souls in 2016, after which he wanted to achieve many more no hit runs including the Dark Souls trilogy back to back. and various all boss runs in Souls games. However, Finally! these runs are not without failures along the way. No! Oh my fucking god! No fucking way! <laughs> no fucking Many hits way. get taken on the way to achieving these feats. But no feat so far has been bigger than achieving the God Run. Hob achieved the mind blown task of beating all five of the Soulsborne games in a row without taking a hit in any of them. A task that may not ever be replicated. That is not enough for Hob, as now he's adding Sekiro into the mix for the God Run 2. Sekiro adds a new level of difficulty to the run, as it's not like the other games in the series, as to no hit Sekiro requires the player to perfect deflect or dodge every attack. However, a non perfect deflect will count as a block, which is not allowed in traditional rules. Many others have followed in Hobbs' footsteps, with too many to mention, but there are some standouts, such as Squilla. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Oh Wait, my how could god. I miss this? Oh my god. 
Oh my god, man. Raw's con. And Gina. Uh, I don't know if this worked. I might have just rolled by accident. No hit community grows every day with more and more people attempting the daunting challenge of completing any of the Soulsborne series of games without taking a single hit. The no hit community is one that can and has begun to branch into other games. As various Bethesda titles in both the Fallout and Elder Scrolls series have been no hit. There is also the countless Souls like that release on a regular basis, including Fallen Order, Code Vein, and even the upcoming Mortal Shell. It's not to say that no hit runs are in the Soulsborne community are becoming less common. Many no hit runners are thinking of more creative and often gruelling runs to complete nets. One such being Geno's Dark Souls 3 or content at Soul Level 1 without upgrading or infusing his weapons. Let's fucking go, dude! Another thing that is becoming more common within the no hit community is no hit tournaments, in which various no hit runners compete against each other in runs with designated criteria to see who can accomplish it first, and in the shortest amount of time. These tournaments tend to evoke the same spirit of the world's first racers when a new Soulsborn title releases, so you can complete the run first and receive the accolade alongside it. This will no doubt include the upcoming Demon Souls remake. and from software's next title, Elden Ring. I hope you enjoyed this small dive into the no-hit community and what this small community full of some of the most talented gamers offers and will continue to offer as more Souls-like titles released in the future. As always, if you have any feedback that will help improve the quality of the videos, it would very much appreciate it, as well as liking and subscribing. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.